when we spoke at the World Economic Forum last at the Wipro Lounge, there was a lot of talk about techies being unwilling to come back to a yeah. physical workspace. Yeah. To what extent does it still remain a problem in terms of attitudes having changed during the pandemic? And how are you dealing with this desire to stay home and not be in office, most certainly not be in office every day and stay in their hometowns right. if they can? So, Rahul, about 30% of our people are now coming back at least three days a week, right? A combination of people who are working at customer locations and a combination of people who are coming to the office. That's higher than it was before and it'll, I think, progressively go up from here. I, I, we have three design principles in how we think about the future of work. One, the future of work is going to be hybrid. In some shape and form, it's going to have working from home, working from the office. Two is we've got to think through more purposefully, how do you think about accessing talent? Does talent come to where you are, to the big cities, or do you access talent? That will have, has a component of inclusiveness and diversity. Uh, it also has a component of whether you think about building new locations in smaller towns and cities. It may have a component of some people working from home all the time because they want that flexibility, but it would, not be, a, it would be a very, very small component. And then the last element is that relationships matter and context matters, right? The advantage of the early days of COVID also was that a lot of people knew each other, but with high attrition and deep growth, we've had 100,000 new people join the organization in a little over two years because we've grown and people have attrited. And so knowing people is important. And so I, I really believe the future of work is going to have some sort of hybrid model and we'll have to sort of think through that. The other big learning for me personally has been is that you can't be fixated on your point of view. So you have to have agility to, to think through this, but we certainly want all of our people to come back some of the time and we'll work and move progressively and purposefully in that journey. In the United States, quite a few marquee companies have now taken very strong positions. That yeah. Either you come back to work or you stay home. Right. I mean, we don't need you. Right. Uh, to what extent do you think uh, this hybrid model of techies being unwilling to come back to a physical workspace is impacting uh, output and productivity? I don't think it's, 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 it's fully affecting output and productivity, but I think it could start to, right? And I, the reason I use it is relationships and connect. And that matters. It matters deeply. And we underestimate the importance of that. So I think it's important that all of our people come back. But we want the flexibility as well. It, is, it uh, provides, you know, it avoids the craziness of the traffic in some of our big cities. It gives people more flexibility, uh, which they want. It also provides benefits to the organization in terms of cost and managing those spaces as well. So it's a win-win, I think.